Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, and I'm here for a discography review and collection video, and for this review and collection video, this will be for the band Death, and Death is a really great band, so we're going to go through all their albums, talk a little bit about them, and let, just let you know my thoughts on them. Now, keep in mind that I don't think Death has ever released a bad album. As a matter of fact, I'll take it a step further. This band has never had a bad song, all right? Now, some of their songs are obviously better than others, but there's no weak material from this band, at least in my opinion. Now, some people don't like Spiritual Healing, but I actually really like that album. But let's go ahead and get into this discography uh, collection and review. I'll let you know my thoughts on each album as I go through them. Of course, rest in peace to Chuck. So it all started with Scream Bloody Gore, and I'm a big fan of this album. I think this is a really great album, really great debut. I mean, it's just raw, heavy, and it's just very angry and vicious sounding. It's just a fantastic album. Um, some, uh, Just to name a couple favorites, I really like Evil Dead and Zombie Ritual. These are all, these are really great songs, but... I pretty much got no gripes with the album. The album is just fantastic, front to back. Definitely a great debut, so definitely worth checking out for sure. So then uh, they followed that up with Leprosy. And as you can see, this is the only uh, album of theirs that I have the original pressing of. This is an original pressing of Leprosy. And what can I say? This album is fantastic as well. I pretty much got no gripes with this one either. Uh, some of my favorites would have to be uh, the title track, Born Dead, Left to Die, Pull the Plug, and some others. But definitely a great album right here. I mean, the drumming in this album is something that I do have to mention. I mean, the drumming is just really hard-hitting. It's intense, and it's just really mind-blowing, I think. But yeah, instrumentation and just the riffing and just uh, Chuck's vocals, everything is fantastic on this album. This is maybe one of their best. I'm not sure. I'd probably say it's one of their best. So Leprosy is definitely a great album. And then, of course, we got Spiritual Healing, which, once again, I know uh, some people say is their weakest album, which I actually don't agree with that. Yeah, I actually don't think that this is their weakest album. But we'll get to what I think is their weakest later on. I actually think this album is kind of underrated, to be quite honest. I mean, uh, I know some people may not like this album, maybe due to the... I'm not sure what it is. I'm, I don't know if it's just the production or the way uh, Chuck uh, sounds on this album. I'm not sure what the deal is, but I mean, I can understand why some people would place it at the bottom of the death ranking, but... I think this album is pretty good. I mean, it's raw, heavy, and there's a lot to like about it. I mean, there's a lot of great songs on here, especially Living Monstrosity, Altering the Future, and the title track. Uh, these are great songs, of course. Um, yeah, definitely a great album for sure. So, Spiritual Healing. Okay, so next up, we got the album that got me into the band, Human. And... I pretty much like this album ever since first listen. This is maybe another one of their best as well. I really enjoy this album. I'm definitely a big fan of this album. Um, I pretty much got no gripes with it. I, Whenever I listen to Death, I usually return to this one a lot. Pretty much every time I want to listen to the band, this is one of the first, uh, one of the first albums that I run to. But yeah, definitely a really great album. I mean, you got Flattening of Emotions, Together as One. Lack of Comprehension, uh, See Through Dreams, kind of an underrated song, to be honest. Um, but yeah, fantastic album right here. Uh, Cosmic Sea is also really good as well. But I again, I pretty much got no gripes with the album. This album has excellent production, and it's a pretty accessible album, too, if you're looking to check out Death. I mean, if you're, if you're wanting to check out the band, you don't know where to start, I mean, you technically could start anywhere since there's no bad album from this band, but this was my first Death album, and I think this would be a very good introduction. It's a pretty accessible album. I'd say 
if you're looking to uh, check out the band. But yeah, uh, definitely a great album. So Human. Okay, so next up we got Individual Thought Patterns. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of people that say that this is one of Death's weakest albums, which... I personally don't understand. Now, I understand a little bit. I think the album is a little uh, produced to um, more than it needs to be, I guess. I don't know if that's the issue with it, but I think this album is more overproduced than even Human was because Human was a very well-produced album, and I feel like they kind of went over the top with this album as far as the production goes, but this is a fantastic album still. I mean... A lot of great songs on here. Overactive Imagination, In Human Form, Trapped in a Corner, The Title Track, The Philosopher, Mentally Blind. Come on, this album is excellent. Definitely a great album. Uh, so, Individual Thought Patterns. What a great album this is. Okay, so next up we got the fan favorite, Symbolic. There's a lot of people that would place this at number one um, when it comes to the Death discography, and I can certainly see why. Um, this is also one of their best, I would say at least, but this is definitely where Death started to um, go a little more proggy, I guess. Now, it, it, it kind of appeared in human and individual thought patterns a little bit, but with this album, it's really clear that, you know, they're really expressing some of those uh, progressive music influences on this album. But yeah, this album also has a really great production. I mean, I don't think it's as overproduced as uh, individual thought patterns, but it's still a very solid album. I mean, you got the title track. I mean, those riffs right at the start of uh, the title track. I mean, very captivating, very catchy whenever you listen to it. It's just excellent. Zero Tolerance, another great song. 1,000 Eyes, Crystal Mountain, uh, Perennial Quest. A lot of great songs on here, but yeah. Symbolic, of course, it's a fan-favorite Death album. I think it's an excellent album. There's not really a single weak moment on this album. Lastly, we got their latest album, The Sound of Perseverance, and they went full-on prog on this album, for sure. Now, you would think that for someone like me who loves progressive metal, would would put this album somewhere in the top three favorite death albums, right? Well, not exactly. I still like the album. I think it's a great album, but if you had to make me choose a least favorite death album, I might get some looks for this, but I would probably go with The Sound of Perseverance. I know that might sound shocking, because I know that this is also a fan favorite for a lot of people. A lot of people say that this is one of their best. I mean, I can respect that opinion, but for me, I don't know what it is about this album that I just don't return to as much as the other Death albums. Um, but it's still a very solid album, though. I mean, maybe it's the vocals. Maybe I'm just not too big of a fan of where Chuck uh, went with his vocals, like their his vocals in the later Death albums have become a lot more higher pitched, I think. And maybe I'm just a fan of the more, uh, I guess, aggressive uh, side of uh, his vocals, I guess. But this album is still very solid. Once again, they've never released a bad album. I mean, there's a lot of great songs on here. Fight the Pain, Spirit Crusher, Story to Tell, Flesh and the Power It Holds. I mean, Flesh and the Power It and holds it, it. It's probably my favorite song on the album. I mean, that's a fan favorite death song. It's catchy. I mean, the lyrics are interesting, and not to mention the guitar work and the bass work in that song is just out of this world. Fantastic. But this is a great album still. Definitely worth checking out. So, The Sound of Perseverance. There you have it, guys. That is my uh, collection video and my discography review of the Death discography. Overall, I think this band has had a pretty solid discography. Uh, not a single week uh, album or even song from this band. Now, that is a little debatable for some people. Some people might say, well, there's that one song that I don't like from them, but I don't know. I really can't find anything that I don't like from this band. Even the cover songs that they've done, like uh, God of Thunder and the 
Painkiller uh, cover. Of course, that song was orig originally done by Judas Priest. Even their cover songs are pretty darn good. Now, they're not like top 10 uh, death song material or anything, but they're pretty solid for the most part. So that is it for this review. Uh, really great band. Definitely worth checking out if you're a metalhead. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care.